All right, to support us here, you can go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. Um, for the GSA bonds and the 1099 OID templates um, for child support cases to set off. Child support cases, mortgages, foreclosures, tickets, citations, utilities, auto loans, student loans, warrants, and for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you who are in for nonviolent offenses, email us to those templates at themullings at gmail.com along with the manufacturer's certificate of origin for the automobile so you can take it out of the state fraud system and um, for a lot of the other stuff you guys hear us read or share on this channel you guys can go back to our um, 1000 plus videos we have here now created for everyone to use and stuff um, I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can click on that as well too Remember to like, share, subscribe, and give these videos a thumbs up. All right, question that just came to us. Um, I was sitting here thinking about all the stuff that we have put in place um, globally, eh? And we're trying to figure out, um, the question is, hang on. Let me see if I can just scroll up because I wrote it in such a way. Two things that came to us, eh? Are all the court? This is the the question for all of you who have successfully shared with us your um, successes doing the GSA bonds and stuff. We know that the 1099 OID works because we've had our own successes doing that, and so many other things that we've reported here after the fact when we've received success successes in that. So, um, what we're asking now, those of you who have done them um, successfully. Are all the court cases, utilities, foreclosures, child support cases, student loans, auto loans, jail court claims, tickets, citations, warrants, and parole court claim numbers, are they on one computer system? That's the question. Are they in one computer system, like one designated area for all of it? And if so, is it as simple as just putting in our own new numbers, our new claim numbers. So when you do the GSA bonds, right, and you're putting in your new claim number, so say you're claiming it for a hundred million because you're doing credit, not money's credit. It's the unlimited credit with the social security numbers and the birth certificate numbers, right? So you're putting in 999 billion, right, as a new claim numbers to own the court claim, the situation, the utility, what have you. So when you do that now and um, you have, is it just as simple as putting in the new numbers um, to set off um, the old uh, uh, numbers that um, in order to have everything set off on your behalf, then that particular entity, right? This is what we're thinking, right? That particular entity then... Um, places the new set off docs that you serve them in um, once everything has been uh, put in the, the computer, the giant computer system or the, the little computer system that they have with your, it's like a master file, right? So um, the new set off docs are then uh, once they're set off or put in the post, registered post mail or FedEx or UPS or what have you to let the people know globally that all has been returned to them. So the question is, is it one computer system that all of these numbers for all these ticket citations and all the stuff we read above, they go into one computer system and then one entity after putting in that information then sends out all um, to all the people that everything's been set off. Is that what happens? And then um, what we're saying is, so then can the GSA bond agent simply not send that new set off doc over to the IRS office for the 1099 OID um, to send us all globally the said withholdings, the gifts, etc. Because um, you know that the mortgages and the stuff that we signed, the loans, whatever loans, auto loans, mortgages, what have you, they're considered to be gifts, right? Hence, so we had to go back and do the 1099 OID. Some had to do the 1099 A, B, C, the 1096, the 1040, what have you, right? So what we're saying is, could they, the GSA bond office, excuse me, agent, just simply go over to the um, the the IRS office and just um, 
have that implemented in the master file that we have at the IRS agent. You know how I think that we have, how I know we have a master file. Do you remember the movie with um, the guy that played Dumber and Dumber, the Canadian actor what was his name. Um, he was in the movie with Morgan Freeman who played God. And there was a scene in that movie, um, that God movie, I forget the name of it. If I remember it, I'm gonna put, the, uh, put it in the description below. Anyways, in that scene, Morgan Freeman first was uh, a janitor sweeping. Now, how that sweeping scene comes into place when you listen to the Martin Luther King um, speeches, he was talking about us and if we're going to be a, a, a sweeper, to be the best sweeper, if we're going to be a garbage person, be the best garbage, whatever, whatever we're going to do, be the best at it, right? Anyways, in that scene, um, oh, what's his name? It's on the tip of my tongue. The main character was so funny. He uh, was um, seconded to go to this, I think he had a meeting or something. And long story short, he, um, Morgan Freeman, who played God, pulled out his master file. The master file was in this filing cabinet, was like a mile long, right? So each of us has a master file. So when we received the clearinghouse number from the United States Federal Trade Commission, and they just sent me an uh, email stating what they were able to accomplish. If I get an opportunity, I'm going to read that email because the United States Federal Trade Commission, which I tell you guys to go and report the identity theft to, in addition to the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigations, the Interpol, um, and the International World Court, and other heads, agents doing business, governors in your state, the chief of police, or whoever you're doing commerce with, right? Tell them that you have discovered identity theft from birth as per the birth certificate, because why? The Baby Act. The Baby Act states you were a baby. You couldn't sign a contract. So what they have us is in is these contracts that are null and void because why we were babies and babies can't sign onto a contract. Anyway, so all I'm saying is can these agents now, the GSA office, not simply go back and um, send off all of that to the IRS agent? The IRS agent then automatically sends us the 1099 OID checks, whether it's directly into our checking accounts or accounts that we already have set up because they already have them on file, right? And then just email us or send us via registered post to check the accounts or whatever that these have been deposited. You see what I'm saying? Which would reduce what people? Paper, right? Remember they were talking about there was a reduction of paper and all this stuff, right? So if they could do that, that'd be simpler, right? In addition to the fact, I really think that what they should have done by now is simply just set off everything automatically. But in the meantime, in between time, we're asking a couple questions. So, attention all international authorities globally, um, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, Interpol, um, Internal Revenue Service Commission heads, and the um, General Service Administration, GSA bond heads, Emily Webster Murphy, doing business as administrator for the uh, head administrator for the GSA bonds. Now, all stated above, um, C2 et al. is implemented on our behalf, as stated here, um, to complete all said setoffs this night and return all said withholdings um, reclassified as gifts. Um, now, this night, this night, this night. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. Bye. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Lodial Title, Moorish American National, Suri Juris, Suri Heiress, heirs to the world's largest estate, Noble Honorable Angelina D. Alfred L. All rights reserved, UCC 1-308 without recourse. Remember, you guys, to support us here, go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com and to um, give all these videos a like and a thumbs up, right? Now, um, something else that came to me recently, I was here thinking some people have been writing to me over the years and it, it really sometimes just, you know, anyway, so someone was claiming to be something that they're not, right? And I remember Tash Tariq Bey was explaining this and what it's like. And they write to you or to me for help in different situations. And I was saying that some, some of it's repetitive because you're going through the same stuff over and over again. And I had this, this really cool analogy um, regarding what's going on with these particular entities. Because I was saying how important it is for you guys to go and claim your correct nationality and your status, right? 
if you're African American, claim that. If you're um, American Indian, claim that. If you're Moorish American, claim that. However, if you're American Indian, Elodial Title Moorish American National, AA222141, you've been given your tax immune um, number um, with the uh, Elodial Title Moorish American identification card, uh, which is registered at the Library of Congress, right? You're then given your American Indian status with the SS5 and the SF181. You've written to the Bureau of in, um, to Interior um, in, Interior Affairs and, is that what it is? And, or Indian Affairs? Um, I want to say Interior. Anyways, you've written to all the heads. Um, John Anthony Barrasso doing business as Indian head, the head for the Indian Affairs and Senator for Wyoming, right? Now, those of you who are out there claiming to be, and I'm going to put it in a color context because that's the only way it seems to make sense to a lot of you out there. You're, 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 um, you were born purple, right? However, you were taught your whole life that purple entities cause, cause some harm, right? To some. Then you walk around and you decide to claim that you're yellow, <laughs> even though anyone who sees you sees that you're purple, right? Um, they know your blood type. They know who you, what you're like. So you're busy claiming to be yellow. However, you are also being charged for not claiming your purple status properly under all the military operations set up for all the frosters claiming to be something other than themselves, right? Um, so we can um, claim that, um, right, so we claim that the Caucasians um, or we know that the Caucasians have done a whole bunch of stuff right? Um, whether it's rape, murder, what have you, right? And um, on the, the, the American Indians and the other entities globally, right? However, um, even though we know that we still allow the, this system of things purporting um, the fact that you're under, you're, you've claimed to be under this so-called um, status, which is not your own, right? Um, so the question begs is, um, if in fact they did all of that, um, yet you as a purple entity still choose their fraud system, so they have you under this fraud system doing military operations, right? Because you're claiming to be yellow. You see where I'm going? So these entities go through life complaining about the same taxations and things they're subjected to, right? All day, every day, they complain about that. Which I'm not saying that people who are free or who have claimed the nationality aren't subjected to um, a, th a few things here and there um, by entities not remembering or not we, they hadn't served yet. So all fraudsters, um, also known as purple entities, because what happened is when you're claiming to be um, um, <laughs> this yellow entity, right? So you're, they've also put you down as, as committing fraud, right? Um, however, you're really a purple entity and you're claiming to be other something other than yourself. So what Taj Tariq Bey was explaining is the importance of claiming your correct nationality and your correct status in order to be free properly. So you wake up one morning and you decide, okay, you're going to claim your purple status properly. And all of a sudden you start to notice that um, things around your, uni your universe starts to shift powerfully in the sense that um, sometimes you'd be sitting there trying to figure out what to do with the situation. And all of a sudden you get the responses or the answer to that matter instantly. Whereas before you were kind of spinning your heels, not knowing what to do basically, or, you know, how to deal with it. Once you're in your correct status and as a so-called purple entity, I'm just using purple and yellow as a, uh, as an analogy for people who are having difficulty figuring out the difference between what it means to be in their proper status or not. Um, so you study that you start studying the laws and the history you claim your correct purple status, and all of a sudden things begin to shift. The ethers and Mother Nature rise up for you instantly. That is what 
um, it's like for heirs. So we were taught, Tashtarik Bey taught us to walk like an heir, think like an heir, act like an heir. And what happens when you do that? When you walk and you think like an heir, things shift because they have to shift. You are no longer functioning in that um, mentality anymore. So when we were talking about on the channel that um, there's two different kinds of slavery or maybe three different kinds of slavery now, right? Um, and one of them is mental, mental slavery, right? And so when you correct your status properly, you're not writing to us, claiming strip itself, claiming that you're sovereign, claiming that you're going to do your lodial title. Your lodial title to what? If you don't have your correct nationality, what are you claiming your lodial title to? That's the question that we're, that we're putting forth to you. We're using the purple yellow analogy to break it down, to show you that that doesn't make any sense, man. You're going to do a trust for a lodial title in what? You're going to claim to have a sovereign ethnicity. Does that exist? No, <laughs> right? that's what we're trying to say. Right. And those of you out there writing to us and so many of you have shared with us that your loved ones around you have dogged you out and said that you're nuts. Those very entities that are saying that to you, they're the ones that are out there. They've lost their minds. They don't have a mind because they're the ones subjected to all the military operations and the fraud while you're getting free. You see what I'm saying to you? So know this because in order to do this, you have to have what? Common sense. Common law is common sense. To do this, you have to have what? You have to be in your sound mind, people. So when people look at you and they claim that you're nuts, they're the ones that's lost their mind because they're not in their sound mind. They're allowing entities to control them while you're doing what? Self-governance. Self-governance all day, every day. Which means what? I always think about the art of doing nothing, self-preservation, right? The ability to write to your entities that surround you, right? Who are doing business as de facto agents in um, so-called power positions. And you're writing to them lawfully and saying, listen, here's the situation, okay? Some entity has come against you in some particular way whether it's trespass or it's um, identity theft or what have you, eh? The powers that be, the United States Federal Trade Commission agents, antitrust department knows you now because you have already written to them several times about other situations that you've seen, whether it was for yourself or for others, because that's how powerful you are in self-governance. You're no longer writing just for you. You are writing for others around you, right? And so they know you to a point where you forgot to write to them about a situation that you are dealing with currently. They send you the links to remind you to report it as identity theft, okay? So that they can work on your behalf. So what they reported to us was the millions and billions they were able to return to people as a result of what people? Us in self-governance writing to them about identity theft on not only ourselves, but others. When you get to that level and you're writing to the FBI agents, whether it's a daily basis or your Interpol you're writing to or the IRS agent commissions to the point that they, they have to rise up to assist you. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's where it's at, people. So your nationality is divine. It's a divine and national movement. So don't write to us telling us you can claim your loyal title. As a, that doesn't work. There's no such thing. <sighs> All right. So, um, yeah. So just go, you guys. Report your stuff to the proper entities and they will rise up to greet you and meet you and assist you as things crop up. You will begin to see things in such a powerful way and stuff. And it's the little things you'll start to notice. It's subtle and it's the little things, okay? 
we had to tell some people, some entities that were doing fraud, the laws, common sense, common sense, common law, right? In doing so, when we were talking in our normal voice to them, they couldn't hear us, right? So they were defending this fraudulent action. And we knew that it was treason. And we know that treason is punishable by death, by death, by death. So you're speaking to a fraudulent agent. You've written to them. You've shared with them the lien, the affidavit, what have you. And then they're going to come to you now with the same fraudulent speak, right? Treasonous speak. What happens? The spirit of God and the angels and the gods rise up around you to now yell at them and scream the laws to them at the tip of the universe where the entire planet can hear you now saying to them, you have a right to what? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of what? Happiness, right? Through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, 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 and equality. So as you're speaking these common sense laws to them, what happens to them? Can you please tell me what happens to them instantly? They have to run to the run to the run to the They have to run away from you instantly. Because why? The angels are going to grab them and make them melt, right? That's why you write to Interpol, the Federal Bureau of Investigations antitrust department for identity theft, federal bureau investigations, IRS, and the securities and exchange commission. And then all the other entities, the agent doing business as governor, the cause they already know who you are. They know what you do. They know what you stand for. They know every single thing about you because why they have a master file on all of us. That's what we're trying to say. So when we make these affidavits out here, we already know. We've watched those movies they sent to us. His name is on the tip of my tongue. I can see his face, eh? He also played in that movie, Liar, Liar. No, not Liar, no. It wasn't, yeah. Liar, Liar, the guy that couldn't tell a lie. Ah. Anyway, so, yeah, go back and watch that movie. That's really funny, too. Um, Canadian actor, what's his name? Anyways, so I'm saying this to say that, um, yeah, you guys who are out there are powerful, way more than I could even imagine, um, have been doing some incredible work that you've shared with us and some amazing things have manifested for all of you. Tony Boney writing to me, get a family friend to write on your behalf, right? Get a family friend to write on your behalf so we can send them the stuff directly to them. And they have to, to send us the claim number so we can send it off to the FBI and do what we need to do here. Okay, so we cannot go on that. Um, I forget the, the site you sent to us. Send us a friend or family member with the email and the court claim number so we can send it off to the proper authorities on your behalf. All right, do that now. All right, you guys, I want to thank Copper Aborigines, iTree Roots, Tressie Rockamore, Mike M., all of you in the comment section writing to us and thanking us for all of our works. Remember, you guys go back and give these videos a thumbs up. Remember to support us. Um, go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. Um, those of you who have received your stuff, write back to us. Let us know once you're successful so we can um, report it um, to the entities and private chambers what is happening and what they need to do as well, because in addition to making these videos public, we know that faith without works is dead. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes for us as well, as angels, as gods, that you are, that we are, right? And so as plant seeds, rubus, red roses, American Indians, a lodial title, Moorish American nationals, we were sent this, um, oh my gosh, it was this interview. I'm going to put that interview, I think I put it in the last um, video in the description below. 
James Baldwin. James Baldwin. Oh, my God. What an incredible guy. He was in an interview with a Caucasian, right? And you could, <laughs> he's so eloquent and so um, controlled in his thoughts and his speech. I don't know how this guy did it, but he did these interviews and you could see all he wanted to do was get up and slap the shit out of somebody. Like I couldn't do that, man. Cause I, I would start screaming. I, they'd melt instantly. That's why I don't, I don't do public stuff. Cause I know my spirit's too high, man. It, it, it's too much. And yeah, I know I just can't do certain stuff. So I just write to people and say, listen, this is what you got to do. Cause God knows I can't do it. I can't go into these certain public venues anymore because my spirit's going to get cross and God only knows, you know what I'm saying? So those of you at that same level know what I'm saying, right? Um, yeah, we didn't come here to, to melt, you know, whatever, maybe we did, but yeah, we're trying to avoid certain things. So we just write to the entities and they do stuff on our behalf, right? So all I'm saying is James Baldwin was in this interview, you guys. And it took every um, fiber of his being to have that self of sense, self control. Because here is this Caucasian questioning this man. Remember this Caucasian, this man, we gave birth to this entity, right? Martin Luther King, King said they were our brothers and sisters. They're our children, all right? And they are questioning him about the ghetto system. And how this entire ship was set up for the so-called heir, the American Indian, to be subjected to all kinds of stuff, right? And the Caucasian knew exactly what was put in place globally, right? And I was just thinking when I was watching that, you know the farms that we were talking about that we knew these entities were given substance, subsidies to? Um, we were wondering if, in fact, <clears throat> that um, Italy, France, um, where are the places you can think, you guys, that has tons of really great farm or vegetation or like wineries, cheese, um, amazing fruits and vegetables, heirloom stuff that you don't see um, in the regular supermarkets or in those so-called ghetto areas or those so-called reservation countries, right? Um, so we were wondering, did these entities in the outskirts, were they the ones that also received the subsidies? My spirit's saying yes. Because we know, we now know that Italy was once Africa, right? France was once Africa. And then we later discovered that Africa, before it was given that name, was another name. Was it Timbuktu, America maybe? Hmm? And then those outskirts, those outlying areas, like we know there's wineries in California. And we know that there's vineyards, um, dispersed around, right? But what we're saying is, um, we know that there's distilleries here that do rums, um, like the white rum, and we know that we have the red striped beer that Canada supposedly bought out and changed and corrupted. And so we're trying to figure out, um, yeah, and even with that, like if they're making rum, What's the, the ingredients for rum? We know that a lot of the stuff, like the whiskey and stuff, has to be aged in oak barrels, right? But they use hops and they use all these different ingredients. So are those ingredients being shipped in or are they being grown here? That's the question. And then were those, like, were those specific farmers, were they the ones that we see now? Were they the ones given the subsidies? what we had to shut down because we realized that all the heirs, all the American Indians, all the American Indians are supposed to have land, right? We're supposed to have land, a significant amount of land to do our own cultivation and farming. Hence the commercial war, right? 
So the commercial war is based on what commerce people, it's commerce. So why you had to go back and do the international bills of exchange and that, and the estate money order, once you've secured up the straw man or your copyrighted name, whatever you did, right? To reclaim your um, prosperity and commerce, to be able to do commerce properly, right? So um, those of you who are conscious now, like we put stuff in place, we were watching an elder and they were doing a talk shoe program and instantly, instantly, instantly while doing the talk shoe program, they put all the stuff in place, right? And then as time passed, we started to notice that exactly what they said in that little talk shoe program, that little um, video, started to manifest in the natural. You see? Why? Because it's a divine and national movement, right? All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Um, to support us, go to paypal at themullings.gmail.com. For the GSA bonds and stuff, those of you who have done them, write to us at themullings.gmail.com. Tom Harry Edward, Mary Umbrella Lamp Lamp, Ice Nancy George Sam at gmail.com. Why, people? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and jaka neta kararoto kori takai tokoi nala katata non lokota tala kai ne 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 takai no 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 ko ne la la katata kina ro ila ina takoi le takararo itaka no loto koi ne na la itakai ro toko to ina la kita takai ni ne 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 ko ina la la kai ne no no ko 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 ina takaka ko do ko ko ina la kai no to ko ina na na kai no 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 ko Take a ka ka ka. Love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, and equality for all.